Robinson with an update. Hey, good evening, Sheree. Yeah, unfortunately, this is not the best looking weekend for outdoor activities around the area. Now, with that said, I do think you'll be able to enjoy some of them, especially on Sunday. I'll explain more about that coming up here in just a moment, but check out radar tonight. Eight out of 10 wet soggy Friday nights out here so far and tonight no exception. The good news though, we're watching the steady rains beginning to taper off across the area. It got pretty steady midway through the evening hours, but now notice nothing really left except for a few showers up across parts of Butler into Warren counties, anywhere from Hamilton over towards Mason back towards Lebanon and then maybe a few more over around Wilmington and then some south of Georgetown. So the steady rains are pulling out of here for the night. However, this is a large storm system. It extends all the way from the East Coast back towards the Mississippi River, and that means it's going to take a while to kind of cruise its way through the Ohio Valley. Temperatures pretty uniform. They really haven't changed much, and they're not going to budge much overnight. They may slip a couple of degrees out there, but most of us are going to stay somewhere between about 45 and 50 for the overnight. So as of right now, visibilities have improved downtown as the light rain has kind of let up temporarily. It's 48 at the airport. I do want to point out, though, humidity is about 96%. So as we work our way through the night, it's entirely possible that much like we had earlier this evening, we'll probably get some of those low cloud ceilings and maybe even some areas of fog. At the moment, visibilities aren't too bad, but we'll see that that could certainly change overnight tonight in some areas. So here's that storm system that's cruising through the Ohio Valley. It's going to head up the eastern seaboard and make a big nor'easter for those folks. For us, we're just going to kind of be stuck with clouds and showers and drizzle and mist through much of our Saturday. Futurecast shows you how the steady rains kind of move out, but you know, it's really never going to improve as we head into tomorrow morning. It's still going to be very gloomy, misty and foggy in areas. And as we go throughout the day, we'll have scattered light drizzle or shower activity. So that's going to keep it fairly cool. Now the driest time frame seems to be later tomorrow night, late Saturday night, and then into Sunday. It's actually looking better, I believe, for tailgaters and the Bengals game on Sunday in terms of a dry start on Sunday. And it looks like here's one o'clock kickoff for the game. It's still relatively relatively dry. However, I think some showers will move in at some point during the game and then maybe take us into Saturday evening. So, you know what? It looks pretty wet tomorrow night up at uh, Nipper Stadium. At least it's going to be fairly damp, even if we don't have steady rain or showers falling. Temperatures right around 50 tomorrow. And then for the Bengals and the Buccaneers, temperatures look like they'll be in the 40s. We'll keep an eye on this. We may take these showers out for tailgaters, but for now we're going to keep them in. And it looks like just scattered showers. So that means I think part of the game will actually be drier than how it was looking previously. So tonight, rainy and gloomy, 44 for your overnight low. And then for tomorrow, gloomy with showers. We're going to go ahead and make Saturday another impact day there with a high of around 50. Here's your day planner. Temperatures really don't budge much throughout the week here, excuse me, throughout the daytime tomorrow, generally hovering right around 50 degrees. Here's your seven day forecast. So eventually on Sunday, we'll make it up to 60 and then it looks a little milder and drier Monday and Tuesday. But Sheree, I'm keeping a close eye on Halloween, making that another impact day that we could have some heavy rain during the day. If we're lucky, it might get out of here just in time for trick or treating. Right. That evening. Well, our fingers are crossed for that because I know the little ones would love it. Kevin, thank you.